Hello everyone, welcome back to my Azeroth Archives series. Today we'll be checking out the ninth in-game book, The World Tree and the Emerald Dream. This book can be found in the following locations. Location number one, Stormwind City in the Stormwind Library. When you first head in, go to your left and you'll find it at the very back on a table. Location number two, Darnassus in the Craftsman's Terrace. In this large shaped building with two Darnassus sentinels standing out front, the book is on a small table to your left right when you go in. Location number three, the Scarlet Monastery Dungeon in the Library Wing. For this one, you'll have to use the Scarlet Key to switch the dungeon back to the old version. I made a video about how to do this if you don't already know how. The book is kind of towards the end of the dungeon in this right hand corner before you hit this long hallway leading to the boss. Location number four, Stormwind City in the park on Classic WoW pre-Cataclysm. The book is located near the Druid Trainers to the right of this Moonwell on a small table. Location number five, Dalaran, the Legion Broken Isles version. The book can be found in this herbalism shop sitting on a box and it's actually a lootable version that lasts for two hours in your bag. And that's all the in-game locations of the book, so let's get into reading it now. The World Tree and the Emerald Dream For many years, the Night Elves worked tirelessly to rebuild what they could of their ancient homeland. Leaving their broken temples and roads to be overgrown, they constructed their new homes amidst the verdant trees and shadowed hills at Hyjal's base. In time, the dragons that had survived the Great Sundering came forth from their secret abodes. Alexstrasza the Red, Ysira the Green, and Nazdormu the Bronze descended upon the druid's tranquil glades and surveyed the fruits of the night elves' labors. Malfurion, who had become an archdruid of immense power, greeted the mighty dragons and told them about the creation of the new Well of Eternity. The great dragons were alarmed to hear the dark news and speculated that as long as the well remained, the Legion might one day return and assault the world once again. Malfurion and the three dragons made a pact to keep the well safe and ensure that the agents of the Burning Legion would never find their way back into the world. Alexstrasza, the life finder, placed a single enchanted acorn within the heart of the Well of Eternity. The acorn, activated by the potent magical waters, sprung to life as a colossal tree. The mighty tree's roots grew from the well's waters, and its verdant canopy seemed to scrape the roof of the sky. The immense tree would be an everlasting symbol of the Night Elves' bond with nature, and its life-giving energies would extend out to heal the rest of the world over time. The Night Elves gave their world tree the new name Nordrasil, which meant Crown of the Heavens in their native tongue. Nazdormu the Timeless placed an enchantment upon the World Tree to ensure that as long as the colossal tree stood, the Night Elves would never age or fall prey to sickness or disease. Yasira the Dreamer also placed an enchantment upon the World Tree by linking it to her own realm, the ethereal dimension known as the Emerald Dream. The Emerald Dream, a vast, ever-changing spirit world, existed outside the boundaries of the physical world. From the dream, Yasira regulated the ebb and flow of nature and the evolutionary path of the world itself. The Night Elf Druids, including Malfurion himself, were bound to the dream through the World Tree. As part of the mystical pact, the Druids agreed to sleep for centuries at a time so that their spirits could roam the infinite paths of Ysira's dreamways. Though the Druids were grieved at the prospect of losing so many years of their lives to hibernation, they selflessly agreed to uphold their bargain with Ysira. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed the reading of The World Tree and the Emerald Dream. If you did and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time where we'll be checking out the book Exile of the High Elves.